Depression rates have skyrocketed in the U.S., now affecting one in three American adults. In today's Health Watch, Local 3's Connie Fellman shows us how depression can impact your work and what you can do about it. Workers diagnosed with depression miss an additional 68 million workdays a year, costing U.S. employers an estimated $23 billion in lost productivity. That's because depression doesn't only prevent someone from showing up to work, but it can also affect their performance. Here are some ways to cope with depression at work. Motivation, creativity, attitude, focus. Depression not only impacts a person's personal life, but their work as well. People have this reduced sense of personal accomplishment, which then negatively translates into um, how they do. Not only can depression impact their mental well-being, it also interferes with their ability to complete physical job tasks about 20% of the time. So what can someone do to cope with their depression at work? But venting to other people can be quite helpful. Communicating with other people and giving people an opportunity to help you and support you is very powerful. Also, try dividing the day into small tasks so that you feel you're achieving things as you go. Take a break to go grab a coffee or go on a walk. According to the Mayo Clinic, doing 30 minutes or more of exercise a day, three to five days a week, may significantly improve depression symptoms. More part-time workers suffer from depression than their full-time colleagues, according to a Gallup poll. On average, part-time workers also miss five more days of work per year than full-time employees. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 3 News.